Take a look at this Bakersfield job we did with Pipoxy. We have a dual side suction that runs a waterfall, so a water feature pump is running. Look at all the root damage. Um, this was all caused by root damage. It cracked the pipe. We went in with Pipoxy. It was probably about a uh, three quarters of a separation of the cracked pipe. We got it done. We got it sealed. Check it out. So this is a picture of the job. This is when the pool was full. Um, you could see, and we're gonna take you and we're gonna show you those two side suctions over there that were plugged off. This is for Darren from Raytech Leak Detection up in Bakersfield. There was a tree planted over here and these are where the pipe stubbed up. So he drained the pool, he had located the leak, we came up here to run the pipoxy system for him. So we're gonna start like we always do by blow drying out the pipes. We get it real dry. And next we're gonna do is go in with our camera, but we're also comparing our camera and what we're seeing to the notes on what he saw. He took actual photos of them and it confirms what we need to do. We need to go back about eight feet around to, to, to three nineties and coat all three. So we're gonna go in with our sanding disc as we do, and we're gonna get it completely, completely primed up, scratched up and ready to go. By running that sanding disc, we also create some dust in the pool. So what we do is we take our blower and we like to blow that dust back out of the pipe again, get it completely dust free, enabling the pipoxy to adhere to a really roughed up clean pipe. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our brushes. So our brushes go on nice and tight. And then after the brushes are assembled, we're gonna start doing our epoxy mix up. So we mix up one, two, and three, and we're gonna pour in the right amount going by our chart of distance. So here we have a two and a half inch pipe. This is a large diameter pipe. So it took more than uh, one, one mix. It took two sets of one parts, one, two, and three, um, but we didn't have to pour the whole second part in there. We pour it in, we get it ready, and then we send our brush in. Our brush is gonna push all that material forward and keep going forward until we pass the area of the actual leak. So we wanna coat a little before, a little after, actually the whole way before, and maybe a foot or two after the actual leak. After we're done coating and brushing it, we're gonna hook up our dryer, run this thing for a minimum of four hours, and next we're gonna to go to our cleanup. We wanna be specific in showing you the cleanup on the specific job. So what we do is we pull our head off, our brush head, and we like to soak it in a thinner, and a paint thinner. We use goof off or a paint thinner, and we like to brush it and we get the heavy stuff off. And then what we do is we soak it back in that container again while we take a rag and we wipe down our cable really good, again, with a typical thinner or with goof off. We want to get all the heavy stuff off. On many of the jobs, if it's really heavy, we like to keep, take the front cap of our unit off. If there's any material in there, we like to scrape it out with a screwdriver, maybe with a rag tip on the end of it, and that will get it nice and clean. Again, spraying it with goof off or any cleaner. Then what we do is we assemble it, we put it back together again. You can see how nice and clean our head is. And now we're good to go and are good to put our equipment away and it will be ready to use on the next job. That's how we fix this side suction, dual side suction with a main two and a half inch trunk line. For more information, visit pipoxy.com and always check out our videos.